so far so good guys um this is a part two of this magnum mms 1012 i'm putting together here and guys this is how far i've already gone set up the system and if you can see the top one right there it has the uh gfci breaker it's a 50 amp on it it has an auto reset you can see you can able to do a lot of stuff indicate led there's uh three prongs and if you overload the system it's gonna pop each of the outlets and here is the other version of it it came this way not without a gfci which allows you to um wire this thing directly to a breaker panel or a breaker box doing so you have the flexibility to bring the wires from the uh, breaker to in here to this uh, strain relief and uh, another wire comes out again for the charger just like this this is a charging device or the charging outlet for this um, inverter here and because this one has a GFCI um, um, outlet so everything the second part of it came here so likewise this one all the wires already bundled in here depend what you want to do there's a provision for you here to do whatever you want to do like I said on the previous video so I'm just gonna cover up this box which I'm gonna do right now and um, get the, the wires out of here you know I'm gonna throw two wires four wires here or I think it's five because of the out ground so I can have the out put and one is gonna go I'm gonna put one of these wires in here and come with another two three wires out for the uh, for the output the AC out if you can look here there's a diagram that shows um, how this thing is wired uh, you see right there so these are all the wires for that and I'm gonna put them together and um, but right now I just uh, try to cover up this thing I'm gonna be doing another series where I'm gonna be wiring this using one of these uh, like extension cord three prong and stick it out from here just like this it's a lot of room that um, this wire is gonna be out then the AC out this is the AC in to charge if you want to charge your batteries all right stay tuned so I'm gonna be covering the this piece right here and wait till I continue to the next process then I have my remote here the me RC 50 okay to control one of these because um, if I want, I can put two of this remote to control uh, individual. But right now, guys, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to disclose everything because I haven't made my mind yet. Made up my mind yet what I'm going to do. I might probably incorporate a classic here. I might probably incorporate um, a Victron here. Who knows? Because of the space, I want to cover up more room. But what I'm doing... I want to take this wire that's it's going to be a breaker box right here I want to do but I'm still trying to figure out things if everything's gonna look pretty or nice okay so that's why I don't want to talk more about uh, future plans yet because I might probably change I don't want to put in the video then um, you guys waiting for the video doesn't turn up the way I said on the first one so I'm gonna keep it this way simple and um, I have the battery terminals here where all of them gonna be in here I might probably incorporate uh, bus bars somewhere here so this inverter can tie to this bus bar 
while the other one can tie to the other ball spur so by doing so you know having like the the positive the positive boss bar is gonna be around here negative boss bar around here that has the covers on the protection on them and i can just run a short length from here to the boss bar wire but i'm gonna do a good wire management maybe gonna stick underneath and drill a hole here and um the other one is gonna be tied to the other boss bar so who knows i might probably do something here to keep everything neat and a short wire and from there it's gonna be the main wire coming out um, um, to to power up these two inverters simultaneously okay well this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a cover and uh, stay tuned for that so here is the covers that came with it and like I told you guys the first one um, they're damaged due to shipping and um, here is the <laughs> example of it is broken but I can still use the cover part of this uh, which is not gonna affect or it's gonna give a protection just like that it's just the new negative that is now there so um, that one is shattered and this one has two of them new ones and uh, come with a temperature sensor and um, the cover right here if you want to cover okay let's do it oh these are the covers right here so it's gonna be just like that pops right there it pops right there they're all covered there is a warning sign for electric shock electrical shock hazard so there is the plate and these are the two screws that goes here so it gives you a cut right there showing you where the plate has to go this way so there we go it's all covered and uh, we get from there okay guys I just realized um, I can come with one wire here like the the output or the charging wire right here the AC input and the AC out I just have to put a one strain relief here so you see I can just take this knockout you know I can have them out if I want to and even has it here as well if you don't install the GFCI uh, um, outlet so I can come out from here so I can have two of them out all right stay tuned let's put the cover on now the cover has been installed if I really just want to do a neat work everything looks nice I can just order one of these plates maybe I can find it but most of the time these things comes in a package um, because of that it's really hard unless maybe you got a, a factory or maybe uh, aftermarket stuff or maybe you have a 3d printer you can able to print this and make this design and cut it and um, I can I like the I like it I like it this way I can do hot wire just like that one over there I can remove that one and put a hot wire right there which um, looks pretty good so no bunch of wires you're not gonna have like an extension cord plug in on top here everything's gonna be um, coming out of here comes to your breaker box here each one gonna have a breaker box uh, output and output power out and right here and this is the input so you all you have cords going out from the bottom instead of at the top here makes it a little bit um uh, sketchy i don't like that but that's how it is it's fine but anyway guys um this is so this house so far we already come with this installation I hope you like this I just decided to pass this cord underneath here it might be a good idea or maybe I can pass it um, underneath here so they can go and all the way at the top here so guys I did uh, extensions or mounting bushings you know so always trying to um, 
um, um, um, lift your devices so that you can be able to breathe better. So down here you can see some kind of a vent I have uh, on this uh, board and there is a vent underneath there as well because that those areas I target those areas because that's where the transformers are the transformers are on the left side they're heavy and uh, um, it's gonna help to dissipate heat or taking like a cooling intake it's gonna be taking air from here if I want I can put some fans underneath here a 12 volt fan and I can use like a relay like so I can able to um, uh, throw cool air on this thing though they have inbuilt fans inside but this is the way I'm thinking about doing and boy I decided to put those uh, little caps underneath there so that they can even to breathe better well this is so this is so nice I, I, I really like that I don't know about you but uh, it's really cool if you find this uh, project interesting and you think um, it's helpful or it does give you an idea to your project or you never thought about this with the 12 volts, guys, this is, this is going to be fun. So thank you so much for your help, support, watching my videos, commenting with all the compliments. I really appreciate that and love you guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming live from this station, JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Bye for now. Boy, she looks pretty. Don't you think? Give it a like and share this video. Bye for now.